Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Will Dupree here in the KXAN Live studio. Today, we wanted to bring you an update about the road conditions out there because a lot of people have questions and concerns about that, obviously. And to do that, we're bringing in a spokesman for the Texas Department of Transportation. So just one second as I bring him in via Zoom to provide us that update. So please stay with us. All right. Joining us this afternoon is Brad Wheelis. Brad is with TechStot. Brad, thank you so much for being here and taking time today because I know it's a busy day. It has been a busy day indeed, Will. First of all, tell us where the response is with the agency, uh, what your crews are out and about doing right now. Well, uh, we got ahead of this storm. So yesterday, while it was dry, we had crews out treating the major roadways in and around Austin. That helped out a whole bunch whenever that precipitation did move in. What we're doing today primarily is treating the hot spots, uh, those trouble spots where we see maybe ice is starting to form, uh, we're sending crews out there. We've had a couple of roadways uh, closed today uh, because of concerns, law enforcement, if they, if they deem it unsafe, they will shut it down and get one of our crews out there to treat it. And we've seen that happen throughout the day. I've been checking uh, crash reports uh, that have come in and there have been a number of those. So we're asking folks, if you don't have to travel, please stay home. And if you do get out there, slow down. Even if it doesn't look like there's ice, we always talk about the black ice, but uh, you know, you may think, well, I'm going through some slush here. That might provide even some better traction or something. That's not the case. And there could be some ice down there as well. So just take it slow, leave plenty of room between you and the vehicle in front of you and be a defensive driver. You may know and be comfortable and pretty confident in your driving skills. But what about the person in front of you or on the side of you or the person uh, behind you? So keep that in mind when you're on the roadways, if you have to be out there. If people see a TxDOT crew out and about, they may wonder what kind of solution is being used to treat the roadways. What exactly does the agency use when it's out there uh, trying to avoid ice from building up on um, the highways? Yeah, we use a, a couple of different treatments. Uh, so yesterday, primarily what we were putting down, and, and most of the time on the main lanes, we're putting a solution we call brine on the roadways. And this is something, this is a liquid, and we mix it ourselves at our various maintenance offices around the district. Uh, so it's readily available. We can whip up a batch when we need to and make more when it's necessary. And, and that's been the case. We've had to make some more. So uh, we've been out there treating the roadways with brine. We also use a, a granular material as well. Most of the time that goes on bridges and overpasses because those tend to freeze over sooner. Um, and, and so we wanna make sure those bridges and overpasses are treated. Something to keep in mind, these are not miracle cures. They do not dry out the roadway. And as we have more precipitation fall uh, and we haven't had temperatures go above freezing in some areas today, and, and they won't uh, for another 24 hours. So uh, make sure that you are very careful because those bridges and overpasses can be especially slick today. What particular roadways and areas are you seeing that are the biggest concern right now? You mentioned that there were some roads that had closed earlier today. Uh, we just noted that uh, Round Rock Police said that the flyover by I-35 and uh, State Highway 45 has reopened after it was treated, I assume. Um, yes. Can you give us an update about what are some of the biggest concerned areas? Yeah, and that flyover tends to do this anytime we have one of these winter weather events. And so we pre-treated, of course, and then we're, we usually have to go back out again. Uh, SH-195, which is up north of Georgetown, uh, heading up toward Florence, that uh, was closed down by sheriff's officials earlier uh, because they saw some slush and possible ice out there. We went, we checked it out. We did some spot treatment there. Uh, we had some issues at I-35 and SH-29 in Georgetown. Uh, also, Ronald Reagan Boulevard. You kind of see a theme there. We had uh, this morning, the real trouble spots were north of Austin and west. So you're talking Round Rock, Georgetown, Gerald, and then out to the hill country. But I want to caution the folks, if you're driving 183 South, we had some issues down there that uh, we treated. And, um, and so you, you can run into slick conditions 
anywhere you're traveling within the area. And this isn't isolated to Austin. Obviously, we're the Austin district. We're focusing on our 11 counties. South of us is the San Antonio district. They're doing their job. North of us, Waco, then Dallas. Uh, and, and folks uh, to the north of us are, are really getting hit hard as well. How many crews are out at this time from the Austin office? That's a good question, and I don't have exact numbers, but uh, these folks are our maintenance workers. So typically, they would be out either repairing something on the roadway or infrastructure, or they would be doing preventive maintenance. So we already have the staff. We're not necessarily pulling people off of off of a critical job. Uh, this is part of what they do. They train for this in the fall. We hold exercises every year to make sure that we are prepared and ready to go. So we have a number of crews. And, and I might also tell you, Will, that um, we don't deploy out of a central location. We have maintenance offices peppered throughout our 11 counties. And each of those maintenance areas take care of, of, of their particular area. If they need help, backup, more equipment, more material to put on the roadways. Uh, we, of course, get them that material, but uh, it, they're used to being in their area. They know what's gonna uh, freeze over first. Uh, they know which areas are gonna be problems. So uh, it really is um, a well-coordinated plan that seems to work pretty well for us. But uh, if you do encounter some slick roads out there, just know that there are crews are out there, 24-hour shifts in some cases, um, and they, they are treating as needed. How often will those crews be out treating roads? Will well, it happen overnight? Yes, absolutely. So um, kind of the way this is working is because we've pre-treated um, and we, we, we started yesterday, now we're looking at areas that are becoming the trouble spots, as I call them. And, and so we have folks that are driving the highways. We count on our law enforcement partners because they are our eyes and ears out there as well. They will not hesitate to close a road or lanes if they see something slick and unsafe. Uh, they give us a call at our central dispatch and we send crews out to cover those trouble spots. Uh, so we're always looking at the roadways. Yes, we work into the uh, late night, overnight hours. We do 24-hour shifts as necessary anytime there's a winter event. This is no exception. And finally, you touched on this a little bit earlier, but what is your advice for drivers right now? How advisable is it to be out there on the highways and roads? It's not. So <laughs> my number one piece of advice, Will, is don't go out if you don't have to. Don't risk it. We knew this storm was coming in. Hopefully you stocked up on some groceries and essential items and you don't have to leave and you have a warm place to stay. But we understand that there are people who do need to travel. They have uh, either critical needs or they're uh, essential worker. So if you're out there on the roads, number one rule of thumb is slow down. Uh, whatever the posted speed limit is, I guarantee you, you probably, you don't want to be driving the speed limit because of the nature of the roadways out there and the precipitation we've seen. So slow down, keep more room between you and the vehicle in front of you. One of the other things you want to do as a defensive driver is constantly be scanning your mirrors, uh, you want to you want to look at the roadway, the car in front of you, car on the side. If they make some sort of sudden move, you've got to have an out, and that out is more difficult when it's slick, right? Because you can't just steer out of it really quickly, or you're going to go into a spin. So you need to be thinking about that. Uh, you want to pump your brakes, not slam on the brakes. Don't use your cruise control. That's a really bad idea. Whenever you don't have the traction that you normally have on the roadway, always buckle up. And um, again, if you don't have to be out there, you know, make it uh, a day where you watch some television or keep yourself occupied with some uh, arts and crafts or something. All right, everybody, that is Brad Wheelis from the Texas Department of Transportation. Brad, we appreciate you joining us for this particular conversation, and I know we'll be in constant contact with you over the next hours and days. Indeed. Thank you, Will. All right. Thank you, Brad. We thank you all for watching our live stream here this afternoon, and we will have more updates on the conditions throughout the day, so please stay with us here on KXAN. Uh, I'm Will Dupree here in the KXAN live studio. We'll see you back here another time. Please, everyone, stay healthy and safe and take care. We'll see you here.